Hey there, today we are talking the coronavirus, COVID-19, and how it is impacting the real estate industry. Keep on watching. Hey there, it's Riggs here, a realtor with Codwell Banker King Thompson, bringing you all things real estate here in Central Ohio. I know at this point, if you are watching this video, you and myself included have um, just been inundated with information and news and the latest regarding COVID-19 and the coronavirus and honestly how it's impacting each and every one of us and is changing what feels like every single day. Listen, my role today is to create a quick video for you just to share um, some of my perspective in terms of how I think it will or maybe what's happening currently in the real estate market. And if I think you should be in a space to keep buying or to keep selling whatever space you may be in. I think we're in a space where our leadership as a country, perhaps for you even locally, I think are doing a wonderful job of protecting us as citizens and residents of where we live. I'm here in Ohio, more specifically in Columbus, Ohio. Um, and our leadership here is doing a phenomenal job to keep us informed as best they can um, but that does not eliminate the fact that we um, as individuals can panic, we can worry, we can be stressed, or we can just choose to believe and pray. And so wherever you are in that space, that is the space you are in. Just find the positive in it all um, because they've been saying we honestly are in this together. So here's where I think we are. Many of my clients are asking me a very direct question. Sharon, Riggs, should I keep pursuing buying rigs should I still sell my home and my answer will always be it depends on how you feel I personally do not feel it is my place to tell you to do something when how I feel about the recent events in our world and our climate may be very different than how you feel so I am telling all my clients or anyone I'm talking to this is a decision that you have to make on your own um, but I can tell you what I am seeing in the real estate space as of right now at the time of this video, and it is incredibly positive and hopeful. So based on that, I would say continue moving forward. Um, here's what I can tell you. I look at the MLS, which is the multiple listing service, every morning and every evening. And what I can tell you is I still see for Columbus, Ohio, in our markets in the MLS, I still see that large number of properties hitting the market and going into contract. I do not feel like I've seen an incredible change in that level of activity. Yes, I believe buyers and sellers are very concerned about looking at homes or having prospective buyers in their homes, and they're talking to their agents to take the necessary precautions um, that makes them feel comfortable. But in a bigger picture, real estate activities here in Columbus, Ohio, are moving forward like they were yesterday, the day before, the week before, etc. So from my perspective, things are still moving forward. Now, like I mentioned, I have been in conversations and on virtual meetings with um, our president and CEO, um, our broker. Um, I've been on the conversation or having conversations and been on the phone with my lender partners and my title partners. And yes, as an industry, we've all had to make changes just like you, right? We are practicing social distancing um, like everyone else. We are limiting our meetings. We are not gathering. We are working remotely. Um, we are taking all the precautions if we are going to tour homes um, to ensure we are safe as agents and professionals, but to also ensure at a greater uh, respect that we are protecting our clients and the public as well. With that, I'll say, I mean, we have had our Columbus Realtor Board and Organization is practicing social distancing and they are closed. Um, our county recorder's office, our county auditor's office are also closed to the public. Um, so yes, there has been a level of impact in the real estate space. I mean, I think for most of us who are doing any level of research, we're looking at the fact that we are hearing reports um, and my lender partners are telling me that rates are low. Um, and given the day, historically low, but I think the 
the reality is that right now rates are volatile too. And so the question will be, should I wait um, you know, to get the best rate or should I lock it in now? And again, if I could predict the future, my goodness, that would be amazing, but I cannot. And I think it's a big gamble to try to figure out and gamble with the market. So you see where I get back to that this is honestly something I think you have to sit down and evaluate for yourself. I think you have to consider what professional space you're in for work and your career and how heavily you are currently impacted or that they predict you might be. Because I do think that is what will best inform your personal decision for you or your family in terms of what decisions and what actions you take to continue in the real estate space. But again, from a real estate perspective, as of today, at the date of this video, um, real estate activities are moving forward here in Columbus. We are still moving forward and business is still continuing. I said, I just wanna say what I truly I feel, I think in times like this, although we are in a level of crisis, and I believe they say it's a pandemic, um, there's also great opportunity. Um, and so not everyone's going to want to take a level of gamble to seek out said opportunity. Um, but I do think there's a level of opportunity with um, interest rates being low. Um, yes, they are volatile, but they are historically low, at least as of right now. And so I think as you are making that decision, consider the level of opportunity you have to um, move forward yourself, your family, in a way that's comfortable for you. Um, and I, again, cannot make that decision for you, but I just wanna put out there that through it all, there is opportunity. Um, so I hope that provides some insight to what our market looks like here in Columbus, Ohio. So I hope if you're looking to relocate here, looking to buy or sell here in Columbus, Ohio, that this, vis this video um, is helpful to you and provides a level of insight and encourages you to um, stay plugged into reputable resources. Um, I would suggest the Ohio Department of Health um, I would suggest the um, CDC, um, the White House, um, those organizations that are giving you the most accurate um, and the most real-time information. Be um, leery from other sites that are not reputable. I think right now we are seeing a lot of sites pop up and a lot of folks are having some opinions. And, you know, we're allowed to have, um, we're allowed to have that free speech and have those opinions. But be very careful um, where you are consulting where you're taking your information from and where you're, what information you are relying on to make a decision. Um, I encourage you to really um, seek out trusted resources, trusted advisors, but keep in mind, no one has the answers. Um, this is evolving and changing every single day. So I encourage you to take care of yourself. Self-care is important. Find ways to do that safely and have fun doing that, um, but be safe and look out for those around you. Um, and we'll get through this. Um, there's always um, a light at the end of it all. Um, so I wish you the best. Do reach out to me in the comments if you have any comments, questions, concerns. I'll be active there for sure. I'll make sure we connect for sure there. Or look in the description box for my contact information if you want to reach out as well. I thank you for watching. Make it a great day. Stay fabulous and productive. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.